Hey everybody, it's Nefalarian with another video on how to use some of the gear that you're going to find in Phasmophobia. This time, incense, or as they used to be called, smudge sticks. These are here to help save you from the ghost, and you can even use it to test for certain ghosts. I'm only going to bring in some smudge sticks, and I'm going to set our sanity to zero so we get hunted right away. So without further ado, let's hop right into the game. <laughs> All right, so when you're in the truck, it's on the far left side. You do have your incense here. This is the tier one. Tier two slows the ghost down a little bit, and tier three stops them in their tracks. But tier one will keep you safe. You can carry up to three of them, but you can't just bring it by itself. You also need to bring an igniter. Tier one are matches. Tier two is a big lighter, and tier three is a Zippo. Tier three is obviously the best but you need to have the matches on you in order to use the smudge stick. So let's hop into here, get hunted, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we're being hunted already. Didn't get a good spot to loop. Ghost looks like the ghost coming out of the basement. And here he is, you know, he's gonna kill me if he gets too close, but I'll go ahead and right click, use my smudge stick, and you see he runs away. Getting tagged by a smudge stick will blind the ghost for five full seconds. You do have to hit your smudge stick before they get to you, you can't do it right as they're about to hit you. And it's gonna block it. Uh, this long hunt actually was able to be stopped by two smudge sticks. Usually one is plenty. Use that smudge stick to run away and get into a hiding spot. That's really all there is to smudge sticks, but let's get into the truck and talk about some of the bonus things you might want to know about smudge sticks. All right, so that was a really short check on how to use a smudge stick in a hunt. You want to turn the smudge stick on before the ghost gets to you. If you wait too long, the ghost can still kill you. I have definitely died with a burning smudge stick in my hand. It's going to tick every now and then, and it starts that five-second blindness timer where you are in invulnerable to the ghost. So you cannot get killed. That's your chance to run away. There's a couple other great things that the smudge stick does, though. Once you get uh, the smudge going and you smudge a ghost, whether that ghost is hunting or if they're not hunting and you just smudge where they are, it's going to start a timer where the ghost cannot hunt. The, for the normal ghost, that's 90 seconds. So you have a minute and a half of just you're totally safe. The ghost won't hunt unless it's with a cursed possession. There are two exceptions, though. At 60 seconds, a demon can hunt. So if you get a hunt after you turn your smudge stick on and you know exactly when you turned it on and it's between 60 seconds, you know, one minute or a minute and a half, you have a demon. If it hunts between a minute and a half and three minutes, 180 seconds, then you do not have a spirit because a spirit can't hunt for three minutes instead of the normal minute and a half or the demon minute. Now, during the hunts, though, when you do smudge, it's going to blind the ghost for five seconds. That's plenty of time for you to get away. The ghost won't know where you're at, and also you can run through the ghost. There's a different tell on that, though, with the Moroi. The Moroi can be blinded for seven and a half seconds after being smudged. So if you know that they've lasted a little bit longer, you know it's a Moroi. I would be wary of using that as a test, though, because in the heat of things, it's very easy to lose track of how long the ghost has actually been smudged. Now, the different tiers of smudges also make some changes as well. I used the tier 1, which just blinds the ghost, you're able to get away. The tier 2 will blind the ghost and slow them down, so not only can you get away, you can put a little bit more distance between yourself and the ghost. And the tier 3 blinds them and stops them in their tracks. That sounds like a really, really, really great option. You're going to be able to stop them. You get as much distance away from them as possible. However, if you're trying to pay attention to the speed of the ghost, the tier 3 incense will stop them, which is why you see a lot of the streamers using tier 2 instead of tier 3. But that's all there really is to incense. It's a really easy item to use. There's not a whole lot to it, and it will save your life. It will save the hunt, and you can sometimes figure out the ghost based on how they react to it. 
Do you have any other questions about the incense? Are there any other items you want to learn about? If you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want more, hit the subscribe button and join my Discord linked on my profile. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.